Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Pink Mascara here and I want you to get ready with me using the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. So if you're interested on how I got this look, come and get ready with me and watch. So let's get right into it. I'm taking this NARS palette and I'm taking that dark brown shadow and placing this in my crease. This is like a brown with a bit of red, like a rust color. And just adding this to my crease. I'm gonna come back to do some more blending. Going in with this second color here, putting that all over my eyelid. It's a nice little light, like a dark lilac color. Now I'm taking my blender brush and I am just blending the edges out so the edges are seamless and not so sharp of a line. You see how I did that there? Now it's more seamless. Take your time with this step because blending is not something you should rush. Going in with this light color here, putting this all over my eyelid just to open up my eyes a little bit more. This is like a very light pink. I'm using a really small Real Technique eyeshadow brush to tap that shadow right into place. And I'm going in with the same shade that I use for the crease and just deepening my crease a little bit more. And adding that same color right to my waterline. I'm blinking because I got a little bit of shadow in my eye. And I'm just doing some cleanup right here. Just using some micellar water and a cotton round. So I applied my eyeliner and lashes off camera. Now I'm moving into foundation. So I'm going in with the NARS Soft Matte Primer. I really love this primer. It gives you a really nice soft matte. So this will not dry out your skin if you have some areas that are oily like your T-zone area. This is perfect for combination skin and dry skin as well. This will not dry your skin out. Going in with the NARS light reflecting foundation my shade is in macau and i'm giving this a, a good shake so now i'm taking this is the sephora collection 56 brush one of my favorite foundation brushes and I'm just buffing this into my skin. I'm really loving the coverage so far. I don't know if you guys can remember seeing I had a little marking from a pimple that I had on my chin. And let me tell you, a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. 
this foundation cover that up so yes I'm impressed by this So here's some details on this new foundation from NARS. This is a medium coverage foundation with a natural finish. It's an advanced makeup skincare foundation that quickly blurs and smooth while visibly, visibly improving skin's clarity over time. So as you can see, by me applying this foundation, you can see from the notes that this foundation does this. Going in with the soft matte concealer and I'm applying this to all over my under eye. This is in the shade Amande. And I'm just blending my concealer out with my good old beauty blender. Right here, I'm just using a small shader brush to clean up under my eyes getting in the places where my beauty blender could not reach to make sure I blend out my concealer going in with my favorite translucent setting powder by Sephora just setting the areas where I applied concealer Taking some bronzer by NARS and bronzing up my face. taking my powder brush a wiping away the translucent powder and also blending out my bronzer a little bit more taking NARS face powder and setting my face And now it's time for lips. So going in with a Juvia's Place a lip liner. And taking this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is Pillow Talk and applying that to the middle part of my lips. Taking a little bit of this NARS lip gloss and popping this on top of my lips to give a little glossy, glossy look. I'm loving this lip combo. This is going to be one of my go-to lip combos right here. 
and you know how I do I'm gonna add my natural mold back <laughs> and here is the final look what do you guys think let's chat in the comments below I thank you so much for watching and please become part of the pink fam and hit the subscribe button until next time see you later